kinds of angle. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to describe and illustrate different angles, right, acute, and obtuse using models. Let's begin. Sophia, a grade 4 student, attends her online classes at 9 o'clock in the morning. Her favorite subject, which is math, starts at 10.15 a.m. After her online classes, she does her school activities at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now take a look closely at these clocks. Did you know that the hands of the clocks show different kinds of angles? But wait, do you know what angle means? An angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at the common endpoint. For example, we have here ray BA and ray BC. If we join these two rays together, we form an angle. The two rays are called the side or arms of an angle. While the common endpoint where two rays meet is called vertex. An angle is named using the points on its arms. We can name this angle as angle A, B, C, or angle C, B, A, or simply name it using its vertex as angle B. Now an angle is measured in degrees, and a full rotation forms a complete 360 degrees. The best way to measure an angle is by using a protractor. A protractor is measuring instrument that is in the shape of a semicircle that helps us measure angles in degrees. It has degrees marked clockwise from 0 degrees to 180 degrees in the outer scale and counterclockwise from 0 degree to 180 degrees in the inner scale. For example, this angle measures 10 degrees. We can also make a 10 degree angle on the other side. There you go. Also, we can make 50 degree angle. A 90 degree angle or a 130-degree angle. Now let's learn about the different kinds of angle. If an angle measures between 0 degree and 90 degrees, then it is called an acute angle. For example, an angle measuring 30 degrees is an acute angle since it falls between 0 degree and 90 degrees. Also, a 75-degree angle is an acute angle since it's less than 90 degrees. Another one. We can see here an angle that is between 60 degrees and 100 degrees. To know the exact measurement of this angle, just subtract the 2 degrees. So that will be 100 minus 60, which is 40 degrees. You can also use the inner scale, which is 120 minus 80 which is also 40 degrees and since it's less than 90 degrees it is also an acute angle great job now here are some objects that shows acute angle now looking back at the clocks which one shows an acute angle if your answer is the third clock, you are correct. Two o'clock shows an acute angle. Now let's go to the next one. If an angle measures exactly 90 degrees, then it is called right angle. For example, we have a right angle. As you can notice that the right angle forms an L-shaped angle. Let's try on the other side. This one is also a 90-degree angle. 
Therefore, it is a right angle. Now, we can see that this angle falls between 50 and 140 degrees. Again, all you need to do is to subtract the two degrees. So that will be 140 minus 50, which is 90 degrees. Or we can also use the inner scale, which is 130 minus 40, and that will also be 90 degrees, which is a right angle. Now here are some objects that shows 90 degree angle. Now let's go back to our clocks. Which one shows right angle? If your answer is the first clock, then you are right. 9 o'clock shows right angle. Let's go to the last one. If an angle measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, then it is called an obtuse angle. For example, a 130 degree angle is an obtuse angle since it's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Also, a 110 degree angle is an obtuse angle since it's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Now we can see that this angle falls between 140 and 20. Again, all we need to do is to subtract. 140 minus 20 is 120 degrees. Therefore, it is an obtuse angle. We can also use the outer scale, which is 40 and 160. So that will be 160 minus 40, which is 120 degrees. Wonderful! Now, here are some objects that shows obtuse angle. Awesome! Now, let's go back to our clocks. Which one here shows an obtuse angle? Yes, if your answer is the second one, then that is correct. A 10-15 clock shows an obtuse angle. Now, let's try this activity. Can you identify what kind of angles are the following? First, let's have angle DBA. It is a right angle. Next, what about angle FBA? It is an obtuse angle. Next one, angle EBJ. Yes, if your answer is acute angle, that is right. Next one, we have angle CBE. It is a right angle. What about angle CBF? Great job! If your answer is an acute angle, that is right. Last one, what about angle FBE? It is an obtuse angle. Wonderful! Great job, students! You made it this far. Now, here are the things that you learned today.